kind it's tough out there like you know landlords are being extra cautious people don't want to uh, give their information out and I've had a couple people kind of a little bit uh, upset saying I don't want to give you my information before I see it and I'm like well not every homeowner wants everybody tracking through their house they want to know that you cannot you're actually qualified to rent their basement or rent whatever before you take them through I don't think that's unreasonable well the, the thing is though right now like there's so many fraudsters out there like uh, every day I'm getting like, a text from this person like, I, got, I got one from yesterday from um I think uh the, one of those postal services saying oh your package I know your package is this click the link we need your details like so, you know, it's, it's again a lot of them is easy to spot, but there's a lot of them where they're very sophisticated and yeah. they'll have like like all like the logos and everything there it looks legit. Like there might be one letter off, which you have to like be looking quite carefully. Yeah. So it, you do have to be careful with your information um, and just make sure it's not getting out there because unfortunately, people who know what they're doing can uh, swindle you and just basically take you for everything. When you see FedEx at gmail.com, <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, but that's like, pretty fake. It is, but again, you have to be. Again, you have, yeah. to, you have to be just looking. Just don't right? hit one. Don't do what I did that one yeah. time. Because sometimes I have like the, I have like all the logos there to look. But sometimes it look. They can it, copy yeah, almost yeah. anything. And it, which these is not that days. hard to do, but you just have to just be um, vigilant in, term, in terms. Like of, you can pay someone to do pay stubs, your letter. They can fool. Like, how do you know who's legit anymore? And unfortunately. It, it's tough. It makes the honest people, it makes they got to jump through some pretty small hoops to get a place anymore. Yeah. And it's a shame, but you know, as a realtor, if you're doing a lease, you have to protect your landlord. Yeah. And it's tough because even then, who knows? Like, you know what? Uh, people look good on paper sometimes. And it's interesting because the government puts in all of these restrictions to help tenants, right? So, you know, um, you can't kick them out for any reason, pretty much. Um, you can't raise the rent this much, pretty much, whatever. Yeah. And even if they and, are kicked out, you still can't kick them out. Yeah. Technically. And, yeah. And, and uh, what ends up being, what ends up happening in the end, okay, so they win at that point. The government sort of puts these policies in and then the tenants get, you know, a good one year relief. And then all the pitchforks come out. And the homeowners and the you know landlords are like, forget this. I'm not going to do it like that anymore. Give me all your information up front. I'll check you out. Then I'll let you see the place. If you don't have 800 credit, um, and you can buy two houses, you can't rent mine. And uh, the rules just start to actually reverse and be really hard on the tenants. So the thing is, and this is where you know government. Uh, legislation. Remember when I told you about that time um, where BC has just introduced a three-day um, clause? Oh, oh yeah, whole, yeah. Whole, to yeah. get out of it. And then, and yeah. then I said, yeah. Well, there's always going to be a loophole. Yeah. Well, this is sort of like the loophole of t tenancy, right? You can't kick them out. You can't do anything. So now you only want someone that can actually buy your house two times over. And that's the only person you put in, so they're the only, and so regular tenants that need it, that yeah. actually need that space, can't have it. Yeah, they and, can't even can't go and it. look at it. They can't even go and look at it. Like, are there, are there, there are people, they're, they're saying you can't come to my house unless you actually. Unless, yes, unless you give your me. information oh. and you're approved. Because that's what my oh. tenant, that's what my homeowner wants. They don't want mm -hmm. me There's lots tracking of lots of them 20 like that. people through their house and okay. they all got 500 credit score. Well, I, I, like I why, guess, yeah. why are you... If you got, if your credit, so when someone sends in and they send in their credit score, it's like 650. It's like, And that's why people don't want to give it too. So there's no sense in looking. And then I had one guy said I was discriminating <laughs> so, against him, and yes, I said, "You were though." I'm like, "How am I discriminating against you? I don't know anything about you right now. All you did right. was text me." Yes, but you what did, do I know from you texting me? You knew, you knew right then when he wasn't giving you the information that he wasn't getting in the place. That's the discrimination <laughs> he's talking about. And then from that point, he, he said, says, well, "I'm Indian, and you're discriminating against me." No, he like, never <laughs> said that. But he said he's got to talk to his lawyer. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I said, "Go ahead, go, go talk, talk to, to whoever lawyer. you need to." But I work for the landlord, and I have to do what they ask me to do. It's not me. If they say to me. 
you know what? No, I want to see paperwork first. What am I supposed to say to them? Oh, no, I'm going to bring everybody through your house. Yeah. Like, you have to do what your client wants you to do. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And please let us know your thoughts in the comments as well as any questions you may have. We're live most Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to tune in. If you're interested in learning more about real estate, Click the link in the description to sign up and we'll send you a series of educational videos all about real estate. Thank you again for watching and remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you can stay up to date on all our future uploads.